back to my youtube channel and thank you for all the love and support and thank you for this video is coming a bit late but we're gonna do it so on today's tutorial i'm going to teach you how to make this lovely bomb shirt you can wear it to the beach it's just very cool and nice it's a ruffle shirt so remember to stick to the end and get your wool and your yarn let's start making for this shirt we're going to be using yarn i use yay wool and um, i'm using the color orange and white for this shirt this ruffle shirt i'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook 3.5 millimeter hook pair of scissors so as you draw i'm going to double my yarn I've doubled my yarn. Now I'm going to make a slip knot. I'm going to make a slip knot. This shirt is going to is very easy. So just follow the instructions in this video and you'll be able to do it. So for this tutorial, we are going to be using odd numbers. There's numbers that start with one, three, five, seven nine eleven just like that so for this tutorial i'm going to be making a chain of 37 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirty six thirty seven so i've made 37 chains as you can see so if you're making a bigger size or you want it smaller than this, so instead of making 37, you can make 35. If you want it bigger, instead of making 37, you can make it 39 or 41 or 43, just like that. But it has to be an odd number. So I have made 37 chains now. I'm going to yarn over and make a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So double crochet into the fourth chain. I'm going to count four chains backward. In the fourth chain, I'm going to put a double crochet. So one, two, three. On this fourth chain here, I'm going to put a double crochet. So this four, this three double crochet here, these three chains here, one, two, three, serves as a double crochet. So I'm going to continue putting one double crochet. Right, I'll continue putting one double crochet until I get to the seventeenth chain. So until I get seventeen double crochet. So this three. We skipped to so put in the fourth one is a double crochet stitch. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So continue until you get to 17. 17 double crochet. 15. I've done 15 now. 16. 17. I've done 17 now. So we're going to make a slight change. We're going to make a slight change here in the 18th stitch. So if you notice, the, we've done 17. So the 18 stitch is like the middle. If you divide this 27, 27 stitches that we made, you know we have to, we've, we've gone back and we, we skipped three stitches already at the beginning, which may serve as a stitch. So if you divide it, this side will be 17, the other side will be 17, there will be one in the middle. The one in the middle, we're going to put three double crochet into it. So this that's the 18 stitch here. So if you are doing your work, if you are doing a higher number or a lower number, you have to divide it to make sure that you have a one stitch in the middle. That's it's that there's have that means this side will be different this side and this the both side. This side will be 17, this side will be 17. So your own can be 15 this way, the other side can be 15. So it depends on the measurements you are using. So for this measurement, I'm going to do 17 this way, 17 in the other side. Then the middle, I'm going to put three double crochet into the 18th stitch. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to put three double crochet into the 18th stitch. One, two, three. So this is the only place we're going to be making changes as we go. So I put three double crochet into the 18th stitch. So this is going to give us that pointed shape. So continue putting one double crochet until you get to the end of 
this round then i'll show you what to do continue putting one double crochet till you get to this point so i'm um, towards the end of this round i have just one stitch remaining so i've put a double crochet into the last stitch just to stretch out my work okay so you can see it's it's a v-shape it's a v-shape so i'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so you see seventeen here then this three double crochet we need then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so plus this chain three it's made it seventeen so we've gotten seventeen here seventeen here then three into the middle part so for round two we're going to yarn over i'm going to chain so round two i'm going to make a chain of three one two three turn my work this three will be so we serve as a double crochet stitch so i'm going to skip this first stitch into the second one i'm going to put a double crochet so i'll keep putting one double crochet until i get to that place we did three double crochet into it so continue putting one double crochet into every stitch as you go till you get to the that middle part that we have put double crochet into a stitch so continue putting one double crochet i'll meet you at that point so right now i'm at the middle part this is the three double crochet here that we've added into that space this is the three double crochet here one two three so what we're going to do now is like from this point it's going to be repetitive so we know there is three double crochet here one two three so this first one i'm going to put a double crochet this second one of the three double crochet i'm going to put three double crochet into the second one and you, you can see very well this second one is like the middle point so we're going to put three this second one will get three double crochet why this third one we get one double crochet then one double crochet to the end i don't know if you understand because i'm going to explain it again so this first one inside let me let me bring it closer see there's three double crochet here this first one gets a double crochet the second one gets three double crochet and the third one gets one double crochet and one double crochet till the end so let's do it now so yarn over the first one gets a double crochet the second one gets three double crochet one two three then the third one gets one double crochet then one double crochet into every stitch till you get to the end as you can see one double crochet into every stitch until you get to the end i'll meet you at the end so we are two stitches to the end of this round so i'm going to put one double crochet into this second to last stitch then on top of this chain three here i'm going to, I'm going to get one double crochet so what we are doing now is making sure this side is straight here is getting the v shape then here is straight so for the round three is the same thing one two three chain three turn over skip this first one this first stitch the second stitch gets a double crochet then one double crochet until you get to that three mm. double crochet space so continue putting one double crochet until you get to the three double crochet space. So I'm at the three double crochet space. Look at the three double crochet here. So as we did in a row two, the same thing. The first one gets one double crochet. The middle one, the second one gets three double crochet. One, two, three. The second one gets three double crochet the third one gets one double crochet so this is just the pattern you are going to keep increasing it like this then one double crochet down you are going to keep increasing it like this till you get your desired size and for the of course for this tutorial i'm going to be using two colors so after the fourth round 
I'm going to change my color to mm. white. So I'm going to do four rounds of this. This is the third one. This is the third one now. So just continue putting one double crochet till you get to the end. So I'm at the end of the round three. It's already getting the shape that we need. So on top of this chain three here, you're going to put one double crochet. So I'm going to do the round four of camera. Then I'm going to come back and show you how the round five is. So I'm done with the fourth round. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to change my color to white. So to change my color, I'm going to make a slip stitch with the white. Then attach it. So at this point now, I'm going to attach my yarn. So after making a slip stitch with the white, I'm going to put it into this hooky yarn is through the end of the fourth round. Then I'm going to tie it together. I just want to just secure it. Then cut my origin away. So now I'm going to chain three. One, one, two, three. Then I'm going to turn my work. Going to turn my work so I'm, so I'm going i want to work in this end as i am going so i can put it here you can leave it and work it in later but i just want to work it in as i'm going so that it won't come out stick out so i've chained three i'm going to skip the first one into the second one i'm going to put a double crochet stitch inside my yarn is still inside i'm working it in as i'm going so the next I'm going to put a double crochet into it so while still working in my remaining yarn so that I can get a very neat work at the end. So it's the, still the same pattern with the former round, nothing's changed, but the color you can do you can do without the color. If you don't want to change your color, you can leave it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put one double crochet till I get to the three double crochet stitch then repeat what I have showed you earlier. So I'm almost at the end. It's still the same thing when I got to the middle. I added three double crochet stitch here. So at the end this chain three space gets a double crochet. So this is how it is. So now I'm going to change my color to orange. So this is the fifth stitch, one, two, a uh, fifth round, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do the sixth, seventh, and eighth orange. Then the ninth stitch, the ninth round, I'm going to put white. So I'm going to change my color to orange now. The same thing the way we attach the white that's what we are going to attach the orange to so put it here fasten it drag it sorry okay then tie tie this to the white and the orange together just to secure it then cut off my white I'm going to use it for the ninth round. One, two, three, chain three, turn your work. So I'm going to weave in this, my remaining yarn as I'm going. So the first one, I'm going to skip it. The second one, I'm going to put a double crochet stitch into it as a, while weaving my yarn. So it's the same thing. So it's just repetitive. It's just the colors that I'm changing. If you are not changing the colors, no problem. You can just do it like that. So this round, they are going to do continue working it till you get your desired length. So I'm going to tell you how many rounds I was able to do before I got my desired length. But I am going to change my color to white at the ninth round. So if you are doing the same style, I'm sorry, uh, the same color, the same style, you are going to change your yarn at the ninth round. So one, two, three, four, five. 
six. So on the ninth round, I'm going to use white instead of orange. Then orange till I get my final length. So I'm going to meet you when I'm at my final length. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen rows. I've gotten to my desired length. I changed my color at the ninth row, which I told you earlier. So I have two rows of white and I have made 13 rows. So it depends on your size, you can leave it at 13. Once for a bigger size, you have to go lower than that. All this, I'm going to weave them in at the end of this video. So now this is one of the panel. We're going to make two panels. I've made this panel. This is the first panel. It can be for the front or for the back. Then this is another panel. That's the back panel. So I have both panels now. The way I did the first one, this is the way I did the second one. So it's like you watching the video all over again to make the second one. So it's the same pattern for the first and the second one. So what I'm going to do now is join these two panels together, like making the bottom part of the the knicker, the shirt. Sorry. So now facing facing you. I'm going to be working with seven stitches. So, you know this three that is here. I'm going to be using it. So I'm going to like take seven stitches, so seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm taking the three in the middle, two by the side, two by the side. So I'm going to attach my yarn at this this first the two before the three double crochet. So one, two, the first one here. I'm going to put in my needle into it going to be attaching it and making a slip knot so bring it out I'm going to make a chain of three one two three so I'm going to put one double crochet into the next one this three chain serves as a double crochet like I told you earlier then I'm going to put one double crochet into seven chain so one two three four to go four five six seven you can see i've done seven one two three four five one two three four five six seven this chain three is a double crochet so hope you know that so now i'm going to chain three one two three turn my walk I'm going to put double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next, till I get to this first chain three. Double crochet, double crochet into the chain three. On top of the chain three, I'm going to put one double crochet there. Hmm? Hmm. So I'm going to, this is what I'm to run now, chain three, again, turn my work into the second stitch. I'm going to put a double crochet, then double crochet into the next till I get to the end. So this is just how you make the bottom part. Yeah, you make the bottom part. So I'm going to do this for only three rounds. So I've done one, two, three. So what I did here, I'm going to do it for this second panel. I'm going to make exactly what's here. I'm going to count seven stitches from the, this middle is already three. This middle stitch is already three. The three double crochet is already three. So two by the side of the three double crochet and two by the side of the next three double crochet. That's makes it seven. So that's where you are going to join your yarn. So now I've showed you how to make this one. You just do it for three times. One, two, three, three rows, sorry. Then the same thing for this next one. So when I when you're done, I'm going to show you how to put both sides together. So right now I've done the bottom part of both panels, this one and this one. So the first one I did, I had to fasten it off and cut it. So this one, I'm not going to cut it. 
So we are going to select our front. So I, this will be my front because they are almost the same thing. So this will be my front. This other part, this will be my front. So I'm going to be attaching both panels together. I'm going to be attaching both panels together using okay so i've chosen my front and my back so i'm going to this to my back so it's the back i'm joining together not the front so using a single crochet stitch i'm going to put single crochet into this this other panel i'm going to put a single crochet into it then make one single crochet stitch turn my work into the next i'm going to join with a single crochet so i'm going to put one single crochet to cover up to join these two together so the two panels are together so i'm using a single crochet to join them together so i'm going to put one single crochet into every stitch until i get to the last stitch so one single crochet then chain one then you can cut your wool then tie it so i have joined my work together you can see This is my work of sewing this bottom part together. Yeah, you can see it's very well. So next, uh, we're going to make the ruffle, the ruffle bottom round. So I'm going to start at this edge here. I'm going to attach my yarn on this chain three space here. Then I'll teach you how to make the ruffle round. So I'm going to make a slip knot. So I've made a slip knot. I'm going to pass my wool into this chain three space here. Then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. So now I'm going to make this ruffle. For this ruffle, I uh, will be putting four double crochet into one stitch. So this first stitch now gets four double crochet. One, two, three. You know we did a chain three at the beginning so that made it four double crochet so one two three four in one space so the next i'm going to put four double crochet in one space one two three four so i will continue putting four double crochet into every stitch round to get that ruffle bottom you see so four double crochet into every stitch as you are going you see that the work is giving it a ripple effect as you go so i'm putting four double crochet into every stitch round one two three you can see so continue putting four double crochet into every stitch round so four double crochet into every stitch round like this like this when you get to this space four double crochet round four double crochet round like this till you get to this end so when we get to this end i will show you i'll come back and show you so i'm almost at the end 
most most at the end of making this ruffle you can see the ruffles are coming out nicely so i'm going after doing this side i'm going to do this other side this other side so um towards the end of the side so i'll show you when i get to the end so like i said this is the end this is the end of this this side so after this side we go to the other side so i continue putting through double crochet into every stitch I'm at the last stitch here. I'm going to put some double crochet into it. Then the last one. So I'm going to chain one, then cut my yarn. So at the end of this project, I'm going to weave in our yarn. So I'm through with this side. I'm true with making the ruffles in this side so what we did in this side we're going to do it on this other side starting from here so you're going to rewind the video and start from this other side so we're going to make the ruffle like this like this till we get to this point so i'll meet you when you're done with the ruffle then i'll tell you what next to do for this project so we create what you did this way on this other side So now we're going to make, make long chains, you can see. So long chain as long as possible to you. You get a very long chain. So these are my long chains. This one and this the other one. So now we're going to lift the sides. So Taking the right side, that's the front, your front, you're going to pass, you're going to pass the chains into this three double crochet space here. You pass the first one into the three double crochet space, then take it through the second one, this one on the other side. Into the first three double crochet space, you put you pass the other one. So we'll have something like this. So next, what we're going to do like cross like this. So the next, I'll skip one, two, three, and this third one, I'll pass my chains into it, pull it out. One, two, three, the same thing here. One, two, three. So I'll just continue passing till I get. So the way I'm passing this is going to give you this cross sign. So one, two, three. One, two, three. The third one, you cross it. one two three so uh shot is almost done this other side one two three so the last one here so this is going to be the end of the cross one two three So we're done. We're done with this. So now I'm going to the remaining end. I'm just going to tie it like this. Just tie the remaining end. So what we did here, 
you're going to do it on this other side what we did here you're going to do it on this other side so i'll show you when i'm done with this other side so it's a wrap we're done with our bomb shots our ruffle bomb shots you see you can wear it to the beach so what we can just do now is just to fasten in all this rope fasten it in all the ropes just hide them into your work like this take it through the back just hiding all the rope weave them in and you are good so thank you for watching this video i really appreciate thank you for always coming back to watch my videos and i will see you in the next video in the meantime i love you so much bye